I had to put you guys on the stand <laughs> because we need to chat. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you know, but um, December of 2022, I was in a car accident. So I was in a bad car accident. Um, I got body injuries. I have a neck injury, shoulder injury, my lower back, my left knee. Yeah, so I've been going to physical therapy, you know, with this running around with insurance. If you don't know, it's a lot of work, especially if you don't have a lawyer and whatnot. So I was trying to manage everything on my own and doing it on my own, it gave me the basic, basically, you know, lawyers will fight to get you the maximum of money, but there's some things I'm not willing to do. I don't want to share my money and I'll get down to the other thing. So I was trying to manage stuff on my own, which went very well. Like I had, I got the money for the car. The car wasn't worth more, a lot. I had a smart car. Smart cars go for like 6,000. So I got the money for that. Um, I was able to get some compensation for when I wasn't at work, got that. But then of course I couldn't work there anymore. I was hurt. So that job just, I don't even know what to call that. Was it? I didn't fired. I wasn't, I didn't quit. I don't know. That's whatever. So, yeah, um, so then basically, and the prices of everything and rent and stuff, all my money just went to rent and bills and food too. But now I know you can see from previous videos, it's better try to look up some food pantries in your neighborhoods because they give some nice food. So you don't have to always buy everything at the grocery store. The food pantries can help you for the essential needs so yeah i was going through that so then now i'm going through the process of trying to look for a new job but of course i have medical um you know restrictions on me i can't really lift more than 10 pounds i can't really be too active i do still exercise and stuff just to get my body some movement and get the strength back and stuff like that but that's about it right after i exercise i put myself on those electric pads that pulsate to massage me and I do still go to massages but now it's out of pocket on my own because these insurances don't want to pay for it so yeah I have to manage that on my own manage my own pain and of course I was given pills and stuff and I don't feel like getting into that I really don't like taking medicine but if it's excruciating pain I might but I really don't like medicine but I like to do stuff natural herbal you know but anyway so what I really got on here today. <laughs> so while I'm looking for a new job, there's unemployment. So I don't know, a lot of people should know unemployment. Unemployment was booming during the pandemic. So there's unemployment that is assistance that you can get while you're looking for a job. You know, cause I have bills to pay. I have rent, I have Wi-Fi, phone bills, stuff like that. It's like, I got bills on bills on bills. But then I just found out about this, um, like wireless company that gives out free phones. It's an Android, but hey, I'm gonna get it. If I'm entitled to a free phone that may help me in case this phone get cut off, but no one texts me anyway, I'm going to get the free service phone. <laughs> All I need is Wi-Fi at this point. So yeah, so I went down, there's a uh, office called, I call them social services. So there's an office um, that I went to for assistance. So this office can help you with a, quite a few things, not a lot. You're not going to get a lot of help. You're just going to get basic. Like I said, everything I've been getting, I'm getting bare minimum basic help of everything. But I'm a single woman. I have no kids. So, yeah. And that's not going to make me want to have kids just to be getting more because kids are a lot of work. I, no, I am going to continue to be single and care for myself so that any predicament I'm in is just myself. So, yeah. So I went there. Um, I'm actually going to be assisted, of course, with food, continue the food pantry or get the Snapple food stamps of what they call it, and which is going to help with groceries. Okay, I'm fine with that. Then I get basic, like, kind of help for my rent. It is not a lot. Don't think you're going to go there having somebody pay your rent. The Section 8 days are over and done. <laughs> you know that was for women who had kids who's willing to live in the i really don't want to stereotype but willing to live in very low income areas and stuff like that and and settle for that that is not me i don't 
I don't have any kids. So that's just not for me. So I can't get those types of things of free rent, which I'm not looking for a handout like that anyway. I'm willing to work. I want a job. I want a nice job. I want a well-paying job. So yeah, so let me tell you. So I went to the office. They had me go to this um, type of unemployment class. So I'm like, okay, what is this about? So it was pretty cool. It was pretty chill. They like let me know like it's basic unemployment. The unemployment of the pandemic times was more of you log in on your phone and then say like you've been searching for a job but haven't gotten one yet. And that's how it goes. But now this one is more in person because I guess we're getting back into groove of in-person stuff. So I have to actually go to um, this class. They just talked a little. That was about it. The next couple appointments after that, you know, I'll go well-dressed presentable and i let them know my searches and what i've been searching and stuff like that so yeah that's basically it as long as i'm job searching i can get some assistance in the meantime it's really not much like honestly it's so little i could be homeless <laughs> it's not funny i could be homeless while i'm looking for a job it's really that bad but i save my money and stuff like that you know because I've always worked before. I'm just a saver. I always knew that. I watched videos that taught me like, girl, save your money because when times get rough, you need like three to six months advance money that can pay bills. And I have listened and that's why I'm in a good like position because if I was going through this with zero money, I would be homeless. So, my heart goes out to those who are and who's going through stuff even tougher than me, especially with children. Mm, that's a lot. People are definitely going to have to move in with family members or I don't know what. I haven't gotten that deep, but yeah, so I'm so, I'm going to get assistance while I'm looking for a job. Um, I definitely want a job in my field. I don't know if you guys know this too. I went to college. Um, I have an associate's and bachelor's degree um it's in the fashion industry um i really want to get back into the fashion industry the last job i had was pretty cool it's just that they wanted me there five days a week when I mean, some people are hybrid or remote like why can't i get fair treatment and be hybrid and remote like everybody else like they be trying to like get the entry level people like they be trying to like do us wrong like that's not fair if everybody in the office gets to stay home one or two days a week why can't i it's because they trying to pull a little woolly over me and I see what's going on. So I'm kind of glad I left that position in a way. I guess it was bittersweet. Now I can look for a new position that can be hopefully hybrid or remote, especially living in New York. No one wants to travel to New York City. Who really does travel to New York City to go to work? I don't. And the rent is so high. I don't even want to live here. So, <laughs> so yeah back to the office place i went to so i did a little class they had a little presentation um that just told me about different stuff what i have to do they even gave me a nice little booklet of different jobs and stuff and i should go and look through that because i'm the type of person i like training what is it earn to learn like those type of jobs that pay you while you're learning something i like those i wouldn't mind pivoting the industry I'm in because if I'm going to be paid to learn something and then get in that field oh why not oh yeah I would definitely do that so that seemed cool to me it had my mind going because I like stuff like that like oh I could do this I could do that oh and I'm getting paid while I learn it and you know and then and it's an essential jobs that's another thing essential jobs and trade jobs is important like that is we need those you know people will always need you it's important so yeah and then um after i was leaving you know it was a quick little thing maybe i was there about an hour when i was leaving that line was going out the door it was going out the door when i came in i made it just in time before it started going out the door and leaving it was going out the door everybody's going through something right now it's a lot of people and it's very diverse i want to put that out there too it was a very diverse crowd it's a lot of people going through stuff. Like, it's very, it, mm, yeah. The economy, yeah. I think we're in, like, what they call it, a depression, recession. 
we're in it and I'm seeing it. I wanted to record, but you know, I want to respect people. I don't want to put their business out there. Not everybody want to speak on what they're going through and stuff like that. And maybe have an image to the withhold you know i don't know what anybody's going through i don't want to put their business out there but it's a diverse crowd of people very diverse we're all going through something needing a little assistance or help while they're trying to better themselves like i said it did not look like everybody's trying to slack off and use the system no we are hard-working people that was just put in a predicament whether sometimes not even in our control like it happened to me did i know i was getting in a car accident no did i know i was going to lose my job no no one thinks things is going to happen to them, but it does. So you got to just stay prepared. But yes, it was a lot of people. Or maybe it was a lot because they had me come to the appointment in the dead center of the day, 1 o'clock. Everybody knows that's the worst time to go somewhere. You need to go early in the morning. But it was definitely a lot of people, kids as well. Everybody's trying to see what help, little help they can get. Because trust me, that's why I was there too. Anything will help. My hand was out. <laughs> Anything will help me at this.